Hey guys, it's Odd996, and welcome to the 19th video of the Spanish Chronicles. Um, so anyway, we resume the battle here, seeing as most of the troops are going up towards my left, but one regiment is over to the right. Here the enemy has begun to take my fire on both flanks at about the same time. However, this unit on the right flank is getting uh, two regiments worth of fire. Actually, they're both. Are. Actually, this they're both sort of getting two and a half. But anyway, um, hopefully my. Uh, Armed citizenry will be able to hold off the melee assault because they're just sort of trickling in, especially on that right flank. You can just see they're sort of just going a few at a time. And armed citizenry sucks at melee, but hopefully they'll be able to handle this. already they're starting to waver. I was kind of hoping they would route right now, like, sooner the better. Um, they're actually gonna hang around for a while. But over here on the right flank, they've routed. And we're gonna go ahead and melee charge them in, in the back. Meanwhile, the other two regiments are going to set up on that road over to the right. Right there. And they finally started the route. You see there, there's his one regiment of cavalry, um, and for some reason they're not gonna get into melee with me uh, right away here. I'm gonna be able to just start picking them off, which is really helpful for me. You'll see that here. We're just dropping them. But over here, um, getting attacked. Uh, well, their unit's marching up. I don't know what their plans are. I'm gonna send my other regiment of, uh, armed citizenry over to spread out more so we can get more fire at any one time. Just thinner lines for more firepower. You know, uh, we still have that one regiment in the house. So uh, we have two regiments of armed citizenry, actually three now. Well, no, I'm pulling them out. So two regiments of armed citizenry over on my right, fighting their one. And three regiments are firing into their cavalry. Cavalry are particularly susceptible to ranged fire because they're easier to hit. Um, which is why ranged cavalry you should never attack from um, like the front, you shouldn't be in the enemy's line of fire. So anyway, we're having this huge route over on my right flank, and at this point, I thought it was the end for me. I'm just like, this battle is hopeless. Um, because, uh, I just lost more than half of my army in like 10 seconds, less than that. And I thought, their cavalry's coming around to the back, and I'm thinking this is over, 
because once their cavalry gets into melee with me, I am... it's hopeless. We could not beat them in melee. But these two regiments that are left are still hanging on. They're not routing yet. Oh, okay, one's starting to waver. And they're routing. We have one regiment left. Gonna run him into this building before anything can get to him. Or did I just call the regiment a him? It. Um. Run! They're pretty brave not routing yet. It's really good for armed citizenry. I would have thought they would have run wanted to route by now. Anyway, their flag is completely gone somehow. Um. But they are in the building. Well, they're going in right now. And the cavalry can't get them now. And as it turns out, neither can their pikemen. So this is sort of just like a safety zone in the middle of the killing fields or something. Where you can just stay safe in the house while we just pick off them. Pick them off with our um, guns. And I see here my other regiment has come back from routing. I'm gonna realize that in a second, I guess. Or I don't know how long it's gonna take me. Alright, there I saw him. So I'm gonna bring him back um, closer to the building. So I can try to kill some more enemy troops. But we are getting low on ammo. And usually I don't really have to pay attention to it, but armed citizenry seem to carry the least ammo of any unit. I don't quote me on that, I don't know if it's true. Some unit that like Native Americans throwing axes or whatever might have less, I don't know. But they Fire left arm citizenry can run out pretty easily, and as you can see, we've shot most of our ammo away, which is bad. But we can still go into houses when we don't have ammo. Anyway, we've killed the enemy general. They're wavering now. They are routing, but they're not shattered yet. But if you see the slider bar, it is still hugely um, to their advantage. So we're going to open up on them pretty soon. And we are going to run out of ammo right now. So although my um, regiment that's in the building is safe, that one that's outside is not. So I'm going to pull them back before I realize that they are out of ammo. I'm going to see that their um, little firing thing, melee mode button, is locked in melee and then I'm going to notice. But, uh, for some reason I can't fit them into that building so I'm going to uh, have to run them over to the nearest building which is all the way over there. We're going to run away from their pikemen and now the slider bar is in my favor. I didn't see it change but how would it change so quickly like that? So here I'm just checking around for enemy units that might have come back. But anyway, we've entered that building, and I'm just getting the mini-map more focused. 
we will continue this battle in the next video. So, stay tuned. That battle's basically over, though. I just have to show you the end.